As you heard Nick Blumberg report earlier in the program, it has been an up and down year for the CTA. Tonight, another issue, one you likely haven't heard before. It involves the CTA's park and ride program and how some believe riders on the south side don't have the same opportunities as riders on the north side. Carol Marine and students from DePaul University Center for Journalism, Integrity and Excellence have been looking into this issue. And Carol, welcome back. It's always good to see you. Thank you so much, Brandis. About three out of every four park and ride spaces at CTA stations are on the north and the west sides of Chicago, according to the CTA's own numbers. For those who live and ride the trains on the south side, options are fewer. So what does that mean? It means some commuters face a difficult decision. Park illegally, risking a ticket or a tow, or having to drive all the way to downtown. On a recent morning, the Dan Ryan jammed with inbound traffic. Al Narendis Burton was dropped off outside the Red Line station at 95th and the Dan Ryan. If you could, would you park here? True, definitely. Has there ever been parking here? Never, never. Not since I've been coming around here, no. How long have you been coming around here? Forever. <laughs> the 95th Street Station is the first chance for Southsiders to hop a train downtown. Do you wish you could park and ride here? Sure, yes, I would. It's kind of difficult. Marvin Howard says he's been using this station for 30 years. So you never had parking? <laughs> never. <laughs> it's no laughing matter, said Ninth Ward Alderman Anthony Beal. We know what explains that. Uh, this is in the heart of the African American community uh, where resources have been neglected uh, and it's not a priority for the CTA. There are 18 CTA park and ride lots in Chicago, including lots for the Blue Line running from O'Hare to Forest Park and the Orange Line from downtown to Midway. At the Howard Street Station, at the far north end of the Red Line, CTA riders can choose from 592 spaces to easily park, walk, and catch a train. From Howard Street, this is a Red Line train to 95. The Red Line travels 21 miles through Lincoln Park, into the subway, through downtown, ending up at 95th Street. Along that line, from the north side to the south side, there is not a single other park and ride lot. In 2019, the CTA completed a $280 million overhaul of the station at 95th Street. Buses ferry passengers in and out, while the few public spots on the street are quickly taken. Try and park a few blocks away and a tow zone may be your only alternative. I come in and I often park near 87th Street and I know exactly where I can park after 11 a.m. so I don't go illegal, but you find yourself risking it. Joe Schwederman, a regular Red Line rider, is a DePaul University professor and a nationally known specialist on public policy and transportation. There are equity issues here and I think uh, What's driving the inequity in some ways is the Blue Line extension to O'Hare. Just excellent large parking facilities there. And a comparable effort wasn't made south to uh, uh, upgrade those lines to give the folks in those neighborhoods those kind of park and ride access. Schwederman says the scarcity of parking indicates a citywide lack of emphasis on transit parking options. I think the, the perhaps the biggest disappointment is we have you know one of the busiest rapid transit lines in the country, which is the red line, which everybody knows and uses, but we don't have sort of a, a well-placed system of park and rides. The lots the CTA has, Schwederman says, pale in comparison to more modern ones in other cities. Like the new line in Washington at Dallas Airport, new stations built with decks, uh, entrance ramps, and drew right off expressways. And that's becoming the state of the practice. Of major U.S. cities, Chicago ranks eight out of nine in park and ride spots per rail rider based on the available data. For instance, figures show Boston has 100 park and ride lots compared to Chicago with just 18. And in Washington, D.C., that city has 10 
times the number of park and ride spaces, as does Chicago's CTA. The CTA did not agree to an on-camera interview. Instead, writing in an email, most, quote, park and ride lots are below capacity. And, quote, the goal is to get people out of automobiles, which is why CTA and every other U.S. transit system doesn't build many parking lots, save for those on the outer edges of the system. There is one more issue we found when it comes to the possibility of park and ride at 95th Street. This is an empty lot across the street, you see it? Yeah. Yeah, they should make it a parking lot. It'd be more convenient for people to park, I think so. Where uh, a parking lot would be great at like the 95th Street terminal or something like that. That's that's a perfect spot for one. Um, but you don't see one? No. No, uh, even after all the construction and, and, and the rebeautification of it, they still didn't build one. Take a ride on Google Earth and you will see adjacent to the end of the line at 95th Street two vacant lots. Those empty lots, according to a frustrated Alderman Beal, are owned by the CTA. CTA has already purchased all these, these lots. They have cleared them out and they're the ones that's leaving them sitting vacant today. Wrought iron fencing accompanied by weeds surrounds both lots. This, this park and ride can be done in a matter of weeks. It's already been excavated. It's already ready to go. The land has been cleared. Give the people some place to park so they can park their car, get on CTA, and get to work in a timely manner. Alderman Beal acknowledges that the zoning would have to change for those two lots, but says, as the alderman, if the CTA goes to him and says they want to put a park and ride there, he will wholeheartedly support it. We should also note that our request for public documents from the CTA made by our students at DePaul Center for Journalism, Integrity and Excellence filed back in September on the 22nd with the CTA Still unanswered, Brandis. And Carol, we know the city council is debating funding for the red line extension. Will park and ride opportunities be available for those riders? So the CTA says yes. The proposed red line extension from 95th to 130th, though, is still years off. But when it's completed, the CTA plans to add four new stations with a park and ride at each. Ironically, still no plan for a park and ride at 95th and the Dan Ryan. Would be nice to hear from CTA on this as you all tried, but of course, still great reporting from you, Carol, and your students as always. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.